Hello, this is Mabel's Tables, and I am coming to you today with a DIY that I know you are going to love. And it is a quick one. I'm going to go as fast as I can, but I'm going to give you the, uh, the instructions as to how to make this. I pray that everything is going right, okay, with you and your family, and that everything is in God's time. All right, so here we go. Now, look at this. Look at what I made here. Let me move it over so you can see it. I made this cart here. See that cart? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put you on hold and lift up my camera some so you can see it. Hold on a minute. Okay, now I think I got you in the right light and... Thank you. I got you high enough so you can see what I'm going to do. Well, I made this cart here, uh, and I'm calling it my Easter cart. We're getting ready for Easter things. And this is uh, I, everything I got. It came from the Dollar Tree. Even the eggs that I made last year, I have a DIY video on how I did these eggs last year. Uh, out of cups from the Dollar Tree, and I put them in my cart right here. Okay, so let me get started. Let me tell you what I use to make this cart, okay? And I'm going to turn this over because I, I got a lot of mess on it, but that's fine. First, you're going to need these. These are going to be my wheels. See those big wheels there on the cart? Let me show you. Those big wheels, this is what they are right here. The plates. And uh, let me put my, my egg back in there. <laughs> and uh, you're going to need some flowers. Or if you want to put lace, it's up to you. I'm using this color and uh, for decorations as well. And I have some... From the Christmas decorations, I'm going to use this in the bottom of it. And I'm going to put it down here. And this is what I'm going to make the cart with. You know, the book holders the uh, that at uh, Dollar Tree, these are very flimsy, but they are good for making this cart with. And you're going to have them in different colors. And it is going to be beautiful. So this is what I'm making this with. This. This, I'm going to put this on the inside for some grass. And I have my choice of flowers. You need a glue gun, some extra glue sticks, and you also need a popsicle stick or something to hold. Because when you put these on, it's going to be kind of hard, you know, and it's going to burn. If you don't put it all right and try to put your hand in there, it's going to burn it. Okay, so what I'm going to do... I am not a person that go around try, trying to measure things and and see things. What I'm going to tell you how to get these wheels on straight is to eyeball it. You remember years ago you eyeballed everything to make sure things were going right the right way. You eyeball everything. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take this wheat, this plate, and again, this is what this is right here. See? And I'm going to take this plate. Oops, and it fell down. <laughs> I'm going to take this plate, and I'm going to put it right here. See? And I'm going to remember that because it's right there from the top. See that look right there? It's going to be right from the top there. So, uh, and I'm going to put my glue right on this. See right there? going to put the glue right there. I want you to see what I'm doing right here. Well, I need a stick. <laughs> Would work if I had a glue stick in there now, wouldn't it? Okay, so I put a glue stick in. Wait a minute. Where's the other? Here it is. Put a glue stick in here. And I'm going to put the glue right here. Can you see? Right here on that first flower part. Right there. Okay. And then I'm going to take my plate. And I'm just going to put it right there. Put it right here. 
and I'm going to turn it over like this. And I'm going to take that popsicle stick and I'm going to hold it down like this so that it'll stick, it'll glue and stick, okay? Because I'm not going to put my hand there with that first one that I made. I, I put my hand there and I tell you, I learned a little thing. <laughs> it burnt, it burnt, y'all, it burnt. So once I do that and think it's sealed, I'm going to turn it back up that way, okay? So I'm going to take the second plate and I'm going to put it here. What I do is I set it down to see if I'm in the right area so it can sit. So I'm going to go right here. And put some glue right on that second flower. Right there. And then I'm going to take this and put it right there. And I'm going to hold it here. Because I want to make sure it's the right way. There you go. And put it, put it down to make sure it's the right way. And it is. And I'm going to turn it down that way. And I'm going to take my, this, and hold it in place. Let me go back up this way, because I want to hold it. See? And when you set it down, it is going to be exactly right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Same height, same everything. So I'm going to push, hold it down here on this side to make sure. And it's, it's right on point. It's so easy. It's just right on point. Uh, I have bad eyes and I can make things level. So I know someone with some good eyes can really level this out. Okay. And see, it's stuck already. And look, it stands just like that. So I'm going to go on the other side, and we're going to do the same exact thing. And I'm going to hold that there. Get that plate. I'm going to lay this down here like this. And I'm going to go right here. And what I did do to help me make sure it was okay, I did put my stick right there. To make sure that I had it in the right place. And I hold that on there like that. Now you can measure this if you want to. It's up to you. But you know I got so used to using my eyes to do things. You know a lot of people think that people with cross eyes can't see well. But I want to tell you that we see exceptionally well. Uh, when you're cross-eyed, it don't mean you can't see. We see exceptionally well. Okay. Now, see, that has, and look at that, right on point. And I didn't measure anything because I, you know, I just don't do that. I, I try to use, make my eyes work for me. A lot of people, uh, maybe you can't make your eyes work for you, but I make mine work for me. I've learned to do that over the years with what I had. And actually, my grandparents taught me that use what you have. And uh, see, look at this. If I put this and this together, it's going to hold right there. And what I know, well, see, that came back off, but that's okay. It still hadn't dried up yet. And I usually do this, see, to make sure that everybody is standing right. And there they are. They're standing exactly the right way. I'm going to let that cool off. And when I come back, I'm going to start putting the flowers on it. But I don't need you to wait to see that cool off. I'll be right back. Okay. I went on ahead and put my bow right here. See? And started putting my flowers all around the cart. Let me show you what it looks like. See there? All around the cart. I started putting my flowers all the way around. I'm going to go. And I found me some little bunny ears. You see these bunny ears right here? 
I put some bunny ears on. I'm gonna have to let this up again because um it's um it's you still can't see what I want you to see. So I'm gonna have to put you on hold and let this up again. Okay, I think I got you up high enough now. So what I did, I found some bunny ears. I had some bunny ears, and I put the bunny ears on this basket here. So what I'm going to do now is finish putting the flowers all around it, and I'm going to start back here now. And I'm alternating the flowers uh, on here so it'll look real, real pretty. So I'm just gluing them on, alternating them on. Going to put it right here. And you have to hold it for a minute because you want it to stick. And this is some really hot glue. My glue guns get so hot, sometimes I'll be afraid to almost uh, uh, touch them. And I'm going to get another color here. And I'm just using different variations of them. I'm going to put some glue on here. And I'm going to put this one right here because I want it to cover all of that. See? Like that. And this is what I'm doing. I'm just holding them on until they get stuck. And you see how that is sitting up? And it's, it's so hard because it's plastic to plastic. And you have to make sure that you're getting them on the right way because it'll come back off. Okay, and I'm to, now that's stuck, and I'm taking another one, getting this color this time. Let me get a bigger one. Well, take this color and put here, okay? So we're going to go and see how it comes, if, if that one fell off, because I didn't hold it long enough, going too fast. And um, there you go, I'm going to have to hold it again. And I'm going to take this one and put it here. There you go. And what I'm going to have to do is put a little more glue on here because I'm trying to go so you could see the finished product uh, going too fast with it. Okay. There you go. And if you want to level it off, if it's kind of crooked with your... Um, with the with the plates on, if it's kind of crooked, you know, I put the popsicle stick right there to level it off, and it's still gonna look good, so you don't have to worry about any of that. So now I'm going to continue putting um the flowers on it, and these are some flowers that I had in my stash. You know, we keep a lot of stuff, at least I do. And I keep my florals. Yes, I do because I love flowers and I always keep me a lot of florals around. So I'm putting some hot glue there and I'm going to put it right, uh, I'm going to push my ears back. I just got the ears sitting here. I don't have them glued. I'm not going to glue my ears because I might want to put them on something else, but the flowers are old. My florals are old, so I can glue them and stick them anywhere. Um, they're old. This is from my stash, and they're just about wore out. So I want to use them and, and put that there. So I'm going to get another one, this color, and put it here. Uh-huh. There you go. And then I'm going to put it right in here. And hold it. You see how that's turning out? It's turning out real good because this is what it looks like. And I'm going to um, hold that until it... Okay, that one's stuck. I think it's stuck. It did. Let's hold it a little bit more. And I got one here. I'm going to put it here. These flowers, I've had these quite some time, and they are kind of uh, weak-like because I've had them a long time. These are some old ones I had them in my stash, and I went in my stash and looked and found the, these. And um, I put them in, uh, I'm going to use them here before they just really go down. See, you got all kind of stuff on them. 
where I have been using them down through the years. Because my flowers last me down through the years. When I tell you they do, they last me down through the years because I take really good care of them. I keep them up in a box in, a ba in the back room. And my son always says, oh, you got so many flowers. Mama, you buying some of my flowers? But I try to get them uh, when I see them, especially different pretty colors. Because, you know, as you know, I love colors. Okay, so look, I got them all over on all sides. There they are, right there. And see, that big one fell off, so I'm going to have to hold it because I didn't hold it long enough. So I'm going to have to hold it until it gets uh, settled. Oh. Okay, there it goes. Gonna have to hold it for a minute until it gets cool. Cause that glue gun is really, really hot. So the glue is hot and it takes a while for it to stick. I think it did now. So here's what it looks like so far. So what I really want to do, two, three, four. I want to take uh, a flower, one of the flowers like this and put in a spoke to make a spoke. You know what the spoke is on a tire? I want to put that uh, there for a spoke. And what I'm going to do, just going to put some hot glue right there and right in there. So if that come loose, it still won't come off. And I'm going to take it and stick it right in the middle. Right in the middle. Let me show you what I mean by right in the middle. Uh-oh. Right in the middle of that. See? Right there. I want a flower on that. And I'm going to hold it till it sticks. Because I want it to really stick. I want it to stay there. I want it to stay there. Okay. And you know what I thought about? Maybe I should have put uh, <clears throat> one of the green things on there uh, to make it look better. Uh, I thought about that. Maybe I should put uh, this here. And then put the flower on the spoke. Let me try it on this on this and see if that looks good. I'm going to put it just like that. See if I can get that to hold right there for a minute. Let me see if I can get it to hold right there. Well, let's see. I'm trying to see if I can get it to hold. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to see if I can get this greenery to stay there on this. Yeah, right there. It might work. I'm not sure. And then I'm going to take one of these flowers and try to put in the greenery. I'm trying to do something to make it. I don't want a lot of ribbon on this one, but I think if I make a spoke like that. Oh, and that's beginning to look good. Can you see what I'm doing here? That's beginning to look real good. I think I like that look. But I got to hold it a long time in order for it to stick. I'm going to go away and finish making these spokes like this. And when I come back, I'm going to show you the finished product. Now, you see how I put the flowers there? I got the ribbon on the front. Let me show you the ribbon. See the ribbon on the front? I got my bunny ears right there. So everything is looking real good. And uh, I'm just going to finish holding my greenery right there and my flower right there and then i'll come back and show you the finished product okay this is mabel's tables and we're still doing this cart so i got this cart all done now as you can see i put florals all around that cart look at that all around that this is my bunny cart and i put the bunny ears on the top of it See the bunny ears there on the top? And this is the cart here. So now I'm going to push my ears back and put one this way. I'll make it look like a bunny. 
you know, down and then put one down. And I got everything come from the Dollar Tree, these bunny ears. And this is, is a um, storage container right here. And here is another one. But I'm not going to do this one on now. I've shown you how to do it. So I would do this one off camera and have, have it set up on a display for later on. You will see it on a display. So now what I'm going to do is take this. This is some, I found this in my stash too. This is some old, what I had for a Christmas tree. And I'm going to put that in here for a base. And I have some more. And I'm going to put that in here for a base. And all these different blues and, and turquoise and turquoise green, they look so good together. Now you can put a teddy bear in there. You can put some little rabbits in there. It's a lot of little things that you can put down in here. To Or you can do like I did the first one. Let's move this one on back and bring the first one back. And the first one was the pink one. And I put in some Easter eggs in this one. See how that one looks? Isn't that gorgeous? So you can go and get these little... Um, storage containers and make yourself some sleds a sleigh for easter and then you can also get the uh, different colors and have it ready for us uh, for christmas time but now i got my two little bunny uh sleighs right here with the flower and i will be putting bunnies or uh, whatever inside of that so i'm going to take you to the final reveal and then i will let you go okay this is mabel's tables and i'm so glad you stayed with me to watch if you feel like you didn't didn't want to watch it to the end Flip it through and see what I did on the end. And this is my final reveal. This is a cart that I made out of storage bins from the Dollar Tree. And this is the storage bin here. And I use this. And I use these plates for the wheels. Okay, this is Mabel's table saying, please don't forget to pray for someone else besides yourself. And always know that God is alive and well and that this is God's world. No matter what you say, no matter how bad things look, God is still in control. And never, never let anyone frighten you about anything that's going on in this world because this is God's world. Prayer really works, y'all. Make you some and set them up. You will see these on a display coming to you in the near future. Mabel's table saying, God bless you. I love you. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for staying with me and seeing this DIY. Whether you skip through it or not, I do not care as long as you saw the end results. Mabel's table saying, I love you with a passion and prayer changes things. I do.